So it's around about 7 o'clock in the morning, freezing cold. I look homeless as hell and all manners of arse. So what would be a good thing to do right now? Let's try kimchi for the first time, right out of the fridge. At least it's not Mass Effect. God, the state of my eyes. They're still sexier than yours. Sinner Chi Kombucha. I really like the name, actually. <laughs> Sparkling Kombucha with Live Cultures. Apple and Elderflower Presse. Okay. And Ginger and Turmeric Lemonade. Unpastured, no sugar. Holy shit, this is bougie as hell. This is... This is way too bougie for me you ever you ever see like a a homeless person eat caviar that's the sort of vibe i'm getting right now <laughs> and i'm sure somewhere homeless people have had caviar <clears throat> so let's start with this so a uh, quick uh breakdown i was picking up some dinner for last night and uh on my way out i looked at the wine stuff i wasn't planning to have a drink for once um, and I'm technically not, because I'm not seeing any proof anywhere on this stuff. <laughs> um, there's like no proof, but it, it was in the wine section because it's a fermented drink. But how fermented? Well, I know one thing, the can's cold as all hell. Uh, I'm looking at the back here and I'm not seeing any, any markup of its alcoholic content so as far as i can tell it's like a non-alcoholic kombucha Boo. i want to get drunk before nine o'clock now um i've heard of kombucha i've never had it before uh, of all people it was a uh, ben pie um on drunken peasants who first like made me aware of it he just drinks it a lot and I always thought it was like some West Coast trend, like the way everyone's drinking seltzer now with the White Claw or Monster Energy Drink. But, um, yeah, let's have a look at the back before we have a drink. Mm. Our, kombut <clears throat> our, my, our Com Brewery is located in Guidor, County Donegal. That's up the road. Um, in Ireland, that's such a saying, by the way. That's just up the road. Uh, we use traditional live culture fermentation, handcrafted and long aged small batch brews. We let the culture, SCOBY, consumes the sugar during fermentation so you can enjoy a sugar free kombucha brew. Show us only the highest quality ingredients, no nasties, no preservatives, never pasteurized. Naturally vegan, gluten free, low calorie, sugar free, sweetened from natural sources. I hear it's actually kind of good for you. I'm not quite sure of the deets, but. Oh, God, that's a weird opener. I got cheese. Oh, oh is this how I'm going to start my day? Apple and elderflower. I kind of get the apple a little bit, but like children's apple juice that you get in those horrible, like, five liter jugs for like a euro in Tesco's. Yeah, the flower is coming in though. All right, let's see. Let's see if I I suddenly develop a flannel shirt. And if I had a flannel shirt, I would literally just edit myself in with a flannel shirt. I don't. I need to get a new wardrobe in the new year. It's sparkling water. With flavors. That's all this is. All this is is sparkling water with flavors. Um, maybe it's just this flavor. I don't like this. It has this cloying flavor to it. I think that's, yes, yeah, because the apple. There was only two flavors, so I had to be like, yoink, yoink. And I hope this isn't going to completely replace my goddamn barefoot wine, because I absolutely adored the barefoot wines. I'd get like four of them and drink them while waiting for the bus. You know, like the Chad I am. 
and they had a percentage. This doesn't have a percentage. It's got all the um slightly chalky flavor. Yeah. Oh. That's kind of a letdown. Let's try these. I'm sure someone somewhere is going, oh, this type of, that's terrible. What you need to get is this kombucha or that kombucha. Okay, fine, but is it just the flavoring they're using? Is it because there's no alcoholic content? What's what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Holy shit. <laughs> that's the ginger and lemon one, which I would be like, all right. So that's like, if you got a crabby gin, uh, ginger and turmeric, sorry lemonade and i was like oh you just get a crabby's ginger beer and you put in a bit of lemon but i forgot about the turmeric and holy fuck that's a smell that just hits you over the it's like did you ever take a piece of wood uh, and like throw it onto a fire but then pour like oil on top of that fire and then take the wood out after it's absorbed some of the burning oil Cooking oil in particular. That's that. Oh, oh God. As for the ginger, that's real ginger. They, they weren't lying about that. I know the difference between like the Krabby's ginger beer and the um and the ginger I've got up in the, in the pantry there. Ooh. All right. I don't think I only got two of these. Fuck was that? Are we having a cigar moment, where the no the chocolate moment? Sorry, where the smell of chocolate, really rich chocolate, will waft you over like you're literally off the ground. Your feet are kind of like little little wings because it smells so good. Then you take a bite and you're like, it's all right, but I was promised more. This flavor is not that strong. But the smell is strong. These smells are very strong. These are like almost like scented candles at this point. The ginger's strong in that one. Um, dare I say, with the right thing on the side, it could be a good mixer. Um, turmeric is smelly. That's weird. That's what I've got. It's smelly. These are very these are very pungent drinks. They just taste like fizzy water. That's all they do. That's all they do. They they taste like fizzy water that that just uh, No. No 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 no. I don't like no no I don't like these. Hey, if you enjoy uh, kombucha, more power to you. Like I said, apparently it's very good. And who knows, maybe this is just a terrible brand. But um, for my first ever try, I think I'm going to stick with, uh, if I ever see any of these, I'll probably still reach for the barefoot wine. If only for the alcoholic content. If there was an alcoholic content, I guess. Because at least then you can say, oh, it gets you a little bit drunk if you drink enough of them. But... You'd say that with so many other things. Uh, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I was hoping to add something new to my repertoire. And again, like if you want to prove me wrong, tell me to look out for something or send me something in the mail if you really think I'll enjoy. Um, enjoy some of these. This could even just be these two flavors. Apple and elderflower. I don't like apple. I kind of, I really like elderflower. Ginger and turmeric, don't like turmeric, do like ginger. So, if you want me to pick which is better, I, I, I guess I would pick the ginger and turmeric because that just has no real flavor except uh, the apple and elderflower kind of does and it's not a nice one. No, no maybe, my, maybe my palate's too, uh, my palate's not refined enough for this stuff. I'll go back underneath the the bridge to huddle by my barrel fire while I uh, 
while I drink my, my, my hobo wine. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think that might even just be it. <laughs> I might even just be too poor for this. <laughs> I just am not bougie enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try to do one more of these before the end of the year. There should be once the Christmas uh, stock comes back into the stores, there's bound to be one or two good things. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. See you. Bye.